Hi, I'm here today to show you three simple workflows that will make your day-to-day -day tasks a little simpler and make you more productive. We'll start small. How many emails do you get per day? Quite a few. Now, how many do you really read? I bet you they're filled with words and more words. Well, let me show you something simple you can do with Snagit that'll make your emails more clear and make you stand out. Now, here's an email I could send out. I have a question from a colleague that says, how do I find out how much time off I'll have at some point in the future. This is one of those things you only do a couple times a year and it's easy to forget. Now, I could write step-by-step -step directions, which is fine and wonderful, but let's see what Snagit can do. This is the part of our ADP system that they need to know. And I hover over Snagit, and I can select image or video mode. For this, I want to capture an image, so I'll make sure the little camera is selected. Then I click the red capture button. Now crosshairs appear, and I can select the part of the screen I want to capture. Click and drag, like so. I only need this part. When you release, it opens up right away in the Snagit editor. Under my Draw tab, I have a number of tools. But here, I think I just want to use my arrow tool. What color do you think? A little red one. There's all kinds of arrows you can make your own, too. We'll go with red. And I want to highlight that. They can already see that's the tab. This is an important step here. And then add it here. I could add text, I could add numbers, but what I want to do here is just give them a visual reference so that they're crystal clear and that they're in the right place doing the right thing. Before we send this off, why don't we just quickly throw a little border on it. This is under the image tab. and You can see there's plenty of things you can do in Snagit, but I'm just going to keep it a little simple. Maybe I'll change the width of that border. All kinds of options, of course. All right, now instead of saving this and then trying to attach it as an image, you can do a lot of, uh, faster move. Over here, there's a copy. This is the manual way to copy, but you may know the hotkey combination called Control-C. Control-C is copy. I come over to my uh, email that I'd written for that colleague. I can click the Paste button or some of you might know the hotkey combination, Control-V. I'll do that, Control-V. So in just a couple, Control-C, Control-V, you can paste these images into just about anything. And now, when I send this off, I hope I'll never have to answer this question again because I can just pull this up and give them some crystal clear directions. This example that you've just seen works really well for if you have maps and directions. You know, we capture a picture of a Google map or something and point out where people need to park or where they enter. It works great for errors. And if you have a problem with your computer, you capture it, highlight the area that was the problem, and then send that to your help desk. Anytime you need to just throw a little image into your email, you just grab it, send it in. Let's do something a little bit more advanced. We'll kick it up a notch. Um, here's the scenario. I have to give a presentation with an update for some changes we've made to the website. Now, I bet you've seen a lot of presentations that look like that. A lot of bullets, a lot of text. This is okay. People can kind of walk through that and kind of imagine what changed and why. But we're going to do something again with good old Snagit. So first I'll come to the website I want to talk about. This web page happens to be the TechSmith tutorial page for Snagit. We have so many tutorials to help you learn how to use the various features in the product. And first thing I want to do is point out how long the page is. If you tried to copy and paste that into your presentation, it would never work. So let me come up to my good old Snagit here. Click the Capture button again. As I move around the screen, I can select, but notice this orange button down here. This is called Scrolling Capture. And Snagit will go and capture areas of your content that are beyond the dimensions of your screen. Look at that. When it finished scrolling the page, it opens it up in the Snagit Editor again. And that's all in there. The first thing I want to do is trim it up. Because for my presentation, I really don't need to show all this stuff. I don't care about this bottom part. So I drag that handle, I release. And it's kind of like taking a, a paper cutter and just cutting the bottom off. We'll come up here, grab this little handle, and drag him in. I don't need all that white space. Oh, we'll trim that in. Why not? It just takes a second. And then lastly, we'll come up and cut off the top. 
right about there should be good. Okay, now I still have all these links in the middle and I don't need to point out anything there. So Snagit has this great tool under the image tab. It's called cutout. There's different um, styles. You can have waveforms or little serrations. I'll use this little curvy wave edge. And you just position the line and drag the part of the screen or the image you'd like removed. So how about right about there? Now if you can tell, it's kind of like you took those fancy scissors, those craft scissors, and then cut your page in half and then kind of brought it back together. And the viewer can see, oh, there is some stuff there, but it must not be very important. Now the first thing I want to point out is this download link here. We've added the ability to download these videos so you don't have to watch them online, which can be great if you're in a, um, an enterprise type institution. And the tool I'm using right now is called a callout. And there's all kinds of callouts. We give you about 12, but you can make as many as you want. You're limited only by your imagination. And we're going to stretch that callout out just a little bit. You can change the font and rotate it, but this is good enough for now. I think you get the idea. Okay. The next thing we want to point out is we've added the ability to read in the latest tips and tricks and how-tos from the blog. So it's kind of nice if you uh, are learning about a certain feature, maybe you want to apply it in some way. These blog posts are pretty handy. So for this, I'll use the highlight tool, the highlighter. And this is just like if you took a highlight pen and wrote over your screen. There we go, can't miss it. The last thing I wanted to show you was uh, the stamp tool. Stamps are like little stickers that you can just stick onto your image and, and there's all kinds of them. I mean, I'll just show you briefly in the left here. We have all kinds of different stamps, but for this one, let me just grab a green star. We'll slap it on and it's looking pretty good. Resize it, position it. So now, here's the fun part, the best part. You've got this image. It did a lot more, I think, to explain what changed than just with the words and the bullets you saw. How would I get this to my presentation? You might think you would go to File, you know, save, and then go to PowerPoint, and then insert image. But watch this. Underneath the Share tab, Snagit has a bunch of outputs. And yours may look a little different than mine, and you may have more, it may have less. But the beautiful thing is, all I do is click this button, and in one click, well, if you saw that message down here, capture successfully sent to the page, and look at that, there it is. So instead of this, or in addition to that, I can now do this. And when I explain to my colleagues what changed, I can just talk through the process, why it matters, and point them exactly to what happened. We took that extremely long page and we brought it down to something that's manageable and it's clear to see. All right, it's time for the grand finale. It's called process documentation. I know you're thinking that's about as exciting as it sounds. But we gotta do process documentation a lot and Snagit is one of the most efficient ways to do it. So in this example, we're going to walk people through how to set up the out of office auto reply in their email system. In this case, I'm using Outlook. How do we do that? Earlier, I kind of hinted about this ability for Snagit to record video. Now, before I actually make that video recording, let me make a quick plug for the TechSmith newsletter. It's not a marketing newsletter. It's filled with tips and tricks and use cases. If that's something you may be interested in, you can find that at the TechSmith website. All right, enough of that. I want to make a little video recording showing people how you can set your out of office auto reply. I hover over Snagit. And this time I'm going to select Video Capture Mode. And I click the Capture button just like I did with an image. Or by the way, if you're a fan of hotkeys, you can use the Print Screen key. So I'm going to select an area. I don't need the whole screen. I'll just select about that much. And if you notice down here, we have a little toolbar that's picking up my microphone. And you keep in mind, you don't just have to record video only. You can also narrate on top of your video. Now if you're the silent type, you can turn that off as well. We'll leave that on. If you'll bear with me, I'll walk through this quick progress. All right, three seconds. I'm on the air. Here we go. All right, everybody, in the new version of Outlook, they kind of changed where the out of office reply is. So it's under File now. And then down here in the main options, you click the automatic replies. And what you can do is set up, your, set up just like you could before. Um, specify the time range and the dates where you'd like that to go off and then put your message here. When it's how you like it, click OK. And that's how you do it.
Now I just click the stop button. My video is complete. I've passed my information on. And the nice thing about Snagit is the video is instantaneous. There's no process or messing around with files and saving and formats. But as soon as you click stop, it's in your editor. And the nice thing also about these kind of videos that Snagit makes is they'll run on a mobile device. So people can watch these on, let's say, an iPad or Android or iPhone. Well, what I can do is make this video available as is, and it will walk people through the step-by-step, -step, or watch this. I can scrub using this tool down here to the various steps in the process. See, right there is the first step, click File. I want to make a handout, or maybe I want to make a wiki page or a SharePoint page that will have this information. So now instead of just making a bunch of screenshots and save them in Word and trying to spell this out, I just click the Capture Frame button. And it grabs that particular frame from the video. We don't need that entire frame, do we? I just use the selection tool, and we're going to trim that right off. So image trim, I'm sorry, crop. There we go. And maybe we want to come back to our stamps. And we have some number stamps. And these are kind of handy because you can outline the steps and refer to them in your written documentation. So maybe we'll put a number one. You know, and it only takes a second, so why don't I just throw like a little arrow on there. You can go a little bit overboard, but you get the idea. I like the borders. Nice black border to make that stand out. And now, similar to what we did with PowerPoint, I'll click the Share tab and instead press the Word Output. And in one click, you just made step one on your process documentation. This is really zoomed in, isn't it? But you get the idea. Underneath, you can write some directions. If I can type. And then we come back to Snagit. A little video we made, and we go and we find step two. And we're scrubbing along right there. All right, let's draw attention to step two. I capture the frame. You get the idea, I think. And I just use my selection tool and we'll highlight this area and crop. There we go. Now, if you get good at this, you can save all your settings. So remember, see how the stamps are already there? It's a little bigger than my taste. Just grab that down. Position it right there. There's different tools. If you're interested in becoming a, a Snagit master, you can automate a lot of this process with something called Quick Styles and Profiles. But for today, I just wanted to give you the basic idea. And we're going to throw that into Microsoft Word. We come over to our document. There it is. Just to get a better um, idea, let me zoom out on that thing. Zoom out. There we go. And then step two is here. And this is the fast way to whip out some uh, process documentation customized for your individual needs at your organization. I like that process documentation workflow example because it gives you the ability to give the people that really need that hand-holding, detailed step-by-step, -step, a complete video. It also gives you a way to have an at-a-glance document that walks through the steps at a high level. You know, a lot of people think of Snagit as a screen capture tool. And that's true. It can capture screenshots and screen grabs. But really, it's a communication and productivity tool. And I really hope this start with these three examples make your day a little easier.